Once you have deployed an advanced smart object, you can test to make sure that it is able to interact with the data source as expected. To do so, you'll need to open the K2 management site and select a desired smart object from the category grouping on the left side menu, or you can use the integration menu option and filter the list based on the name of your desired smart object. Let's search for a smart object actually using the integration menu option. In this instance, we are going to test the currency exchange smart object. I'll enter in the word currency and press enter and then we can select it from the list. Notice that we have a toolbar menu across the top with a few action items, such as being able to move the smart object to a different category, you can execute the smart object's methods, you can also view its properties, or refresh the list of smart objects. The Properties button pops up a Smart Object Properties window that shows the list of properties designed for the smart object. Near the bottom of this window, you will also find a drop-down control to list the type of methods that were designed for the smart object. You can use this to see more detail about what each available method requires. Backing up, the Execute button pops up the Execute Smart Object Method window, which shows a drop-down control where you can select the method of the smart object you would like to test. Let's look at and test the Read method here. Recall that we created three smart object parameters for this smart object since it requires input that the web service needs to complete the currency conversion. I'll enter some values to get the exchange rate for the South African Rand here and click Execute. The US dollar amount will return the correct value and confirm that the smart object executes successfully. You can also test list create, update, and delete style methods here by entering data according to what those methods expect for inputs. Just be cautious if you have to test against a production smart object as you may create, update, or delete records by accident. 